Hi, I'm Wanda from Jimmy Branch Homestead, and I'd like you to join me today for a day of preserving the last harvest from our garden before the frost. Um, so the first on the agenda today is tomatoes. So <clears throat> I had some that had some pretty bad spots. I got those cut out, and I'm still working on them. And we're going to just see how much we get here, um, and then we're going to cook it down. We're going to put them in the pot here and we're gonna to make tomato soup. So some of them, by the time I cut them away, I might end up with only half the tomato. That's okay, just make sure you get all the bad stuff off. And I am not peeling the tomatoes. I'm just washing them really well. <coughs> Excuse me. We grow organically. Uh, so I don't have to worry about any pesticides or anything like that. And I'm just cutting these up in smaller pieces to help it cook faster. Well, I transferred the tomatoes to a smaller pot. Um, I didn't end up with as much as I had hoped for. Uh, some of those tomatoes were just too far gone. Um, if you watched my recent uh, final harvest from the garden, you'll see that I had a lot of, of things to take care of. I've already taken care of the tea. I did it that night. Um, as far as getting it in the freezer, um, I've canned the green beans. I've given away the okra to my friend. Um, and now I'm going to take care of what tomatoes are left even if this is just enough soup for a couple of days. Okay, while those tomatoes are cooking down for my soup, I'm going to get started on the next project here. And these are all of the green tomatoes that were left on the vine um, when I did my final harvest. And so what I'm going to do with them is clean them up, dice them, uh, preparing them for fried green tomatoes. Um, and then I can just put them in serving sizes in the freezer, keeping some out for dinner tonight. And a strawberry hauler works very good um, for taking out the centers of tomatoes. Better when they're ripe, but it still works. And I plan to um, kind of cut those small, I forgot. Uh, saute these up like I do my um, fresh garden vegetables. Only with um, in cornmeal. So I'll do a little bit bigger chunks than I did last time because they're not cooking down. Well, not for soup, so. Okay, let me get these cut up and I'll be back with you. Okay, our soup is at a full rolling boil now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down to low just so it just kind of keeps cooking. Took the lid off so a lot of that water or the super runny juice um, can cook out of those. These are um, Jet Star tomatoes so they're pretty juicy. So we wanna cook some of that juice out or quite a bit of it. Um, to make our soup thicker. <clears throat> These are going much faster than the, than the others that had so many bad spots in them.
finished my lunch and I'm on back to the green tomatoes. I took out a few to fix with our dinner um, and then I'm going to can the rest. Okay, so I'm basically just going to fill up these jars. I'm sure I'm gonna come across some of them I might have to cut a little smaller. I got carried away on the size of some of them, I think. And I'm canning these so that later I can take them out and fry them. I had thought about making um, green tomato pickles, but I decided to do this instead. Some of those are a little big. jars moved over here. I'm going to go ahead and get these set up. I've got water um, on the stove getting ready to boil. That's what we're going to pour over the green tomatoes and I need to get the water bath canner heating. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay so I ended up with just one quart of the tomato basil soup after I had lunch today. So I do have my lid marked and it's now cooled enough to put in the freezer. So I'm going to put it temporarily in the one here in the kitchen um, since I have room to set it on a shelf and once that freezer is solid I'll move it to the other freezer okay so I'm just going to fill these jars up over the tomatoes with boiling water
just going to go back and do a quick debubble. I'm just using a plastic chopstick. Okay, so I added a little bit of water after I debubbled everything, um, just where necessary, where maybe it had some bubbles that um, took up more of the liquid once it filled them. Okay, so now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon per pint of um, citric acid, which is required when canning tomatoes. Excuse me. And I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of salt. This is not required. Um, I just like uh, a little bit of flavor to go into the tomatoes. I'll add more salt and pepper, but I'll need to be careful when I do so um, so that they don't get too salty. Of course, this will be drained off before I fry them, and they'll be dried. rim clean. They look pretty clean, but just in case I dropped any of the powders on them, the salt or the acid, citric acid, or any tomato seeds. I think I picked those off earlier, but Water is about an inch above the jars, and we're going to go ahead and bring that back to a boil and get those processed. So while that's working, I'm going to set up for the next project. have them sorted. These are the smaller ones, a little bit smaller ones and different colored ones. These are a dozen of the bigger ones. And the bigger ones I'm going to keep for stuffed bell peppers. And <clears throat> I forgot to take out the hamburger till a while ago, so I may end up having to put these back in the refrigerator and do them tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. Um, sometimes it thaws out pretty fast. So I'm going to put these to the side because I'm saving those. And these, I'm going to do a couple other projects with. Okay, so for starts, I'm just going to get these all cleaned and in this bowl. Okay, my canner is at a full boil. Um, for regular tomatoes that are ripe, you typically can them for 40 minutes for pints. I'm gonna can these a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna go 50 minutes, just to make sure. Now 
Now I'll get back to cleaning my peppers. Okay, I have all of the bell peppers cleaned and sliced. Uh, so let me get set up for the next step and I'll be right back with you. Okay, for the next part here, I just basically um, slice an onion, cut each slice in half, and then just pull it apart in the segments. And this is because I'm going to be putting together fajita packets and each package will have bell peppers and onions in it ready to go. And then I can just stick them in the freezer and take them out when I'm ready to make fajitas. Oops, that one's kind of big. Oh, there's two together there. That's why it was fatter. And to me, it's easiest to use a serrated knife when I'm cutting, slicing onions. Plus, it's got a longer blade than my other knives, most of them. I'm going to keep working on these onions and get them all sliced up. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do all this into this project, um, but I'm going to kind of just wing it and see. So I'm making up fajita mix, and I like to mix up the peppers so that I have not all the green ones in one package. I like the colored ones in with it. <clears throat> And I like to mark my bags before I fill them because it's so much easier. And I'm just going to put some peppers in and some onions in and some more peppers in. Oops. Well, so, well that didn't work too good. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. My other bags are so narrow, trying to fill them, it doesn't really work. These are at size 10 by 13, um, but you use what size package works for your family. And then I'm going to set them aside because these are going to be vacuum sealed. My husband and I both enjoy fajitas, so I thought this would be a good way to save some of our peppers from the garden that we can eat all winter long.
And for two people, I probably make these pretty big, but I like a lot of extra. A lot of the times I'll eat my fajita mostly in my plate. I'll eat one in a tortilla and, and the rest just in my plate. Let's see, maybe I'll save those for another one. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do them all this way. I have plenty of freeze-dried bell peppers. Um, so I'm gonna really enjoy having these on hand. I'm gonna make it one more. Okay, so I use a paper towel to just stick inside at the very top and run it along the edge um, to dry off any liquids that came off of the vegetables. And I've already done that to all these bags. So then I just kind of lay them down about how I want them. And then I'm going to put them in my Avid Armor vacuum sealer. I just love this. It's easier to do when you're um, doing liquids or anything, too. It's the only one I found I could do liquids on. Okay. And I'm going to hit auto back and seal. Now I have a nice vacuum sealed package of fajita mix ready to go in the freezer. These done real quick. Yeah, when it takes the air out, it's kind of hard unless you write a log the top where you've sealed it um, to write on them. <laughs> go ahead and get these sealed up and then I'll be back with you. Well, I'm very excited about that. That gives us five meals for fajitas. And another thing I love about our Avid Armor is it does, hopefully you can see that, a double seal, not just a single seal. So, okay, on to the next project. Okay, for my next project, I have my peppers cleaned um, and water on to boil to blanch those bell peppers. So I'll catch you back when it's boiling. Plus we did the tomato soup and eight jars of canned green tomatoes. Pretty good for one full day of um, preserving. If you're interested in the full recipe, um, of how I do these stuffed bell peppers, please go back and check out my pl cooking playlist um, under the stuffed bell peppers. Okay, for the stuffed peppers, this one um, is going in to be covered as soon as it cools and go in the refrigerator. It's going to be dinner for tomorrow. I got it done too late to have it for dinner tonight. And these I'm going to stick in the freezer um, to harden them, I think it will be much easier than to pull them out and stick them in the freezer bags to a vacuum seal them. So I have to figure out a place to put those once they all cool down. 
and then this will go in another package as extra stuffing um, and that'll go in the freezer so out of all those meals we got a lot done today because we had I think five stir fry excuse me fajita meals and then um, basically four stuffed pepper meals one of which we're gonna have tomorrow and actually filling for another meal so if you're enjoying this type of video please give us a thumbs up subscribe and share our videos on your social media it's the best way you can help our channel to grow thank you so much for watching Jimmy Branch Homestead take care and God bless